Hello all, this is Laura with another Financial Frugal Friday. And I'm coming to you for the week of the 12th through the 18th, so last week. And I am excited to say that we managed to do it. Four days of no spend. Yay! Um, of course, during the middle of the week, that's when we spent quite a bit. But, you know, this is the way it works sometimes. Uh, I usually say to not spend right before the credit card was due. However, most of these were right at the 17th. Um, on the 17th, uh, and so they're usually a pending charge. And so what that means is that it doesn't actually come onto the credit card until the next day. So then that means that it doesn't have to be paid until the following month. However, I have found that the interest, as much as they're saying the interest rates are you know, much better. I don't find that to be the case. We're still not seeing high interest rates on savings, even though they're saying, you know, they keep on increasing the rates each uh, month with the Fed. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the banks are actually increasing the interest rates for your savings high yield savings account that we had with uh, American Express. We got notification uh, after the interest came in that they're increasing it from the 3.4% to 3.75%. So that's actually pretty good. It was more than a quarter of a percent. Uh, so I'm hoping that in April we'll see uh, an increased amount for the uh, money that we put in. So we can always hope anyway. Uh, there's also another thing that I wanna bring up that I was thinking about today. And I live in a gambling state, Nevada. We have slot machines in the grocery stores and gas stations, as well as being in the casinos and all other places. I mean. I, I think that there might even be some in the drugstores. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, when you're talking about stocks and bonds and anything else where you're doing an investment, those, all of that is, as far as I'm concerned, is considered gambling. You gamble to see what your money is going to do five, 10, 15 years from now, maybe even 30 years from now. You're gambling on the fact that you believe that you'll live for 30 years if you do a 30 year bond, although it can go to your successors or what have you. But each one of those things is a gamble. And I do not want you to think that you have to gamble everything. Uh, you just gamble what you think you can or what you think you can lose. It's basically how it worked. I gambled way back in 2014 or 15 uh, with a, a purchase that I thought, oh my God, I, I lost all of our money. And it ended up that I didn't, that we get dividends from it. And... Um, granted it was $20,000 and at the time it was like, oh my God, uh, what am I doing? But it ended up paying out for us. And what it does is it pays out every quarter at, um, on in March, uh, let's see, June, September and December. So it's a quarterly payout that is a dividend uh, payout uh, and this one um, Sasha was kind of like let's get rid of it we don't need dividends 
there's no reason to have it. We have all these dividends and it's pain in the butt when we're doing our taxes. But the thing is, is that those dividends are what is giving us the larger cash payouts every quarter. And so I'm inclined to keep them. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be going over one of those particular dividends that we got uh, the 15th, explain how that all goes. So um, when we get to that, uh, we'll go over it. But first I want to do the expenses and then I'll do the um, large dividend that we got. All right. all right, so this is going to be from the 12th through the 18th. And as you can see, the 12th, 13th, 14th and 18th were no spend. We brought got money brought in uh, on the 14th, 15th, and 17th. And we actually, even though it shows a payment on the 16th, we actually saved money on this particular day. So I'll go over that in just a little bit. Let's go through the list here. Um, I'll go over this at the end. So on the 15th, we needed milk. <laughs> and this is what happens sometimes. You need one thing and then you go and get a whole bunch of other stuff. But these things were on sale, so that's why we did it. Anyway, he needed milk. It's This is a gallon size, so uh, that's a pretty good price for milk. And so it came to 16 91. We didn't go out to eat that week. 17th, Home Depot van upgrades for $5. Uh, and then this is the big thing. And uh, I'll go over the Geico in just a second, but we uh, got hoses and garbage bags. These were all things for upgrading our, our uh, hoses on our washing machine, our Stainless steel means that they won't rust and nor will they fray and you will be able to, we will be able to use them for a much longer period of time. And so hoses and then uh, there was a deal on uh, garbage bags and then we are we're down to our last foaming soap. And so we got I think it was something like uh, six of these foaming soaps. And the garbage bags that were a pretty good deal were these. We had been in the house, we'd been in our um, structure, our casita, for two years. Not realizing, of course, that ultimately we would need home insurance because we were full-time RVers for, you know, 13 years. We didn't we hadn't thought about home insurance. I mean, not really. I mean, I suppose because when you have a mortgage, you have to have home insurance and that's what we had before. And we just didn't really even think about it uh, because you had a mortgage. But because we have no mortgage on this house, we didn't think about home insurance. Uh, basically, it's insurance just in case your house, you know, blows over or something. But we built a house that was withstand 120 mile per hour winds um, and it's a steel building and inside that steel building is our casita that's under a thousand square feet of living space. We didn't really think about homeowners insurance. Uh, we decided to go to a local. We did the homeowners insurance. It was something like $560 um, and that was just in case, you know, something happened to our property uh, and something happened to our house. Ico, at the time, when we were shopping around for homeowners insurance, they said that because we hadn't been insured for the past two years that we had owned the house, there was no way that they were going to give us insurance now. <sighs> is mind blowing of course we're like but we've been having car insurance with you forever why would we why can't you do this other thing and they just they refused they said nope because you haven't had insurance we're not gonna do it okay 
fine. So we went with another company to do the homeowner's insurance last year. Well, this year, the company that we had done the homeowner's insurance with, they jacked the price up over $250. And it was something like $775, $750. Now, granted, they increased the value of the home, but I mean, no, that's not good. $250 more? That's just crazy. So we shopped around. And this time, Geico said, oh, you've been insured with this other company for a year. That's good. We can offer you this price. So this is the price that they offered. $291 for the actual uh, home. And not only that, they were able to tie it in with our car insurance uh, as well. So what that meant was that, that we got a discount. It's saying the uh, value of the home stays the same. And it starts from May 2nd through 2023 to 2024, because we're still under the other insurance until then. Although we've really kind of built our home so that nothing would happen, but this is the way it goes. Even though it's not until May that we'll get coverage, we had to pay at this price um, on the 16th, so way ahead of time, month and a half ahead, for insurance for the next year. Uh, and so we did that, and then we also got discounts and I'll show you the discounts in just a little bit uh, for the cars that are under the insurance policy as well. So that's what this is all about. Um, I sold a bunch of stuff. Let's Sasha bought these camera accessories. I play a game, a video game. Well, it's not really a video game. It's whatever I have on my phone, a phone game, an iPhone game. I actually played two different ones while well, I finished the game, uh, but in order to do that, I needed some in-game purchases. Uh, so that was what that was on the 17th. I finished the game and I deleted it this week because I'm not going to play it anymore. That's ridiculous to have to pay money for a game that's supposed to give me pleasure. So there's that. These are all those different purchases. Okay, just a little it's $510.47 was spent this week. For the month so far, $1,813.73. Uh, now to go to the saving amounts. First off, uh, client, then selling on Mercardi. Uh, they take a cut, I think it's like 10% of whatever it is that you make. There's also, if people use credit cards, then there's a charge for that. You know, just like any other place, they have different charges, but this was a good amount. Also had, I had a client on the uh, 17th pay me and it went to savings. Here's that credit for Geico. I went back to the credit card uh, as well. So the Zion's interest seven, eight years ago, eight years ago, something like that, I bought, uh, saying Zion's interest, it's, it's Zion's bank. So I bought stock, but it wasn't stock. It was the weirdest thing. Um, I got it through Zion's Direct, which I never, I don't use anymore. It was a gamble. We had $20,000 that was 
um, not getting much interest because back in 2014, 2015, the interest rates were like nothing. Uh, and so I said, okay, let's do something to make, you know, this money work for us. And I bought this on the market um, through Science Direct. I bought this, but it was a gamble because I wasn't exactly sure how it would work and how it would all do what it's supposed to do. But it's, but at the time, what it said was that if you buy this and you hold it for another 15 years, you will get dividends on it from the time that you buy all the way through for 15 years every quarter you will earn three hundred and forty seven dollars and fifty cents and i thought whoa this sounds great that's you know a good thirteen hundred ninety dollars every year and i was like well that's a good way to have the money working for us and that's a that's a guarantee there aren't too many guarantees in life but when you have a guarantee like that and you have guarantees of the treasury bonds giving you money as well uh, which is typically around a thousand dollars a year well then this sounds even better so why not do it and so i pulled the plug I was scared for maybe a week or two weeks or something like that. And now it's like, woohoo, this money's coming in yet again. Now, we don't actually take it out of the um, account, the Vanguard account. Instead, what I do is I use it to do investments. So it churns upon itself. So it's the same money but it's being churned in to buy bonds, uh, index bonds, as well as index stocks. Uh, and it keeps churning through and doing it every single time uh, I do. I do two bond purchases uh, a month and one stock purchase a month. So, um, as a matter of fact, I'll be putting down another one here for that and it just keeps churning over and over and then ultimately you know if it gives you enough you can possibly do even more and put more money in and whatever uh i'm just trying to get our i'm not really caring about the value i'm caring about how many are in there because the um bond index funds as well as the stock index funds give you dividends and those dividends keep increasing uh, because it's based on how many you have so the more you have the more dividend you get so i uh, keep on increasing those it's a way to gamble but not horribly because you know that there are some returns so anyway coming back here that's what this was so this is the amount that we brought in just this week so i guess you could say that i made seven dollars or 650. we had more in savings than we did in um spending thank you for watching this video this is just a little tidbit of my own views on what you can do to maybe save more money um and i want to thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions please ask them down below in the comment section i'm always looking forward to seeing more people subscribing to this channel i will be talking next week about another amazing um, investment that i made and its dividend that came in thank you for being here and watching our video so thank you and we'll see you again soon bye bye